Hi there girls and boys. You've joined us now on the last race of the day. It's been a long, long day, but it's been great fun. We're now with the Open Cup final, and I will give you the crews. We're actually ahead of all the crews. We didn't start behind them for once. Uh, we have Salcombe rowing Pegasus, Teen A rowing Templar, Carradon A rowing Bridian, Falmouth A rowing Pentagon, Carradon B rowing Rapparee, Mounts Bay in Amazon, then we have Charlestown in Goose, Padstow in Volante, and Dart in Spy. So we have a full complement of crews out there for this race. And already, uh, Bridian poking their nose forward. That's Caradon A. And then we have Isolde on the other side of them. Isolde being rowed by... In fact, she's not on my sheet. So I think Isolde might have taken over from Pentagon. I think Pentagon has been taken out, perhaps the boat's injured, but I would guess that Falmouth are now rowing Isolde, so let's start again with that one. We have Bridian being rowed by Carradon, Isolde being rowed by Falmouth, the two leading boats, and then in a line, a straight line across, we have Templar, Templar being rowed by Team A, then Pegasus, Pegasus being rowed by Sulcombe, then a nice long stroke in Rapparee, who's rowing Rapparee, Carradon B. Then Amazon pushing through, Amazon being rowed by Mounts Bay. Beyond them we have Goose, Goose being rowed by Charlestown. And then the back three boats are Templar, Volante and Spy. So that is Teen A. rowing in their own boat. How about that? And then Volante, which is Padstow, and Spy, which is Dart. So there's nothing in it at the head of the race here. We have Carradon, stroke for stroke with Isolde being rowed by Falmouth. These guys have come up through the ranks over the years. Some of the best rowers we've probably ever seen in gig rowing, now in our their veteran years, showing us how it's done. Effortless, but fast. And don't forget the coxes. Without them, they would be nothing. So, these guys have now got two or three boat lengths over the, the crews behind. We've got two sets of flashing blades of red from Carradon in Bridian <coughs> and Rapparee. Bridian have been given the water over Falmouth as they approach the first mark. Here they go into the first mark. Bridian have the water. All taking a close look at this. In they go. Falmouth, they just slowed down slightly. They're keeping the boat moving. Rango Carradon, blades up. Number five's holding water. And Falmouth now put the pressure on. They've started rowing before Carradon, but it's not pretty. They've held at five. Brilliant being told to get a move on. Rappery come up on the inside of both of them. That's uh, Carrot and B. That would be a turn up for the books. It wouldn't be the first time a B crew has beaten an A crew. They won last year, I believe. So let's see if they can hold on to their crown. Now this is uh, good rowing. This is fast rowing. Falmouth up the rate now. They're really banging it out. I can't tell you what the rate is, but it's a lot, lot quicker than, than Carradon but they're not making a, a, an eighth of the dis difference to the distance between them. In fact, Carradon probably are now pulling away a bit.
Mounts Bay in the mix for fourth. As we come up to the next mark, let's see who gets the water on this one. This will be interesting. Going back through the racing now, we have Falmouth and Carradine at the front. We then have Carradine's B in third place. Here we go round the mark. Let's give you a little bit of detail here. They've held their line, round they go, Falmouth. Blades are up, they've taken a tight turn. Carradon out on the uh, other side of them, kept rowing all the way. So this will be interesting to see if they've got the momentum to take them past the Falmouth crew. But it doesn't look like it, Falmouth now determined. And they're level pegging, there's nothing between the two of them. It's all going to be down to the last turn. In fact, Carradon now probably just a foot or two up on Isolde, being rowed by Falmouth. And the rest of the boats now are all in a line, all taking the second mark. No incidents there that I can see. So we have Carradon B in third place. Mounts Bay in fourth. Charles down in fifth. Sulcombe six. Templar with Teen in seventh. Beyond them we have Spy and Volante, and I can't really see the rest of the boats. There's a little bit of a gathering of boats at the end, but we're coming up to the to the last mark. heading into it. We're watching this closely. So here we come, down to the mark. Brilliant, being rowed fantastically well by Carradon. Going to take this wide. Farmer throw on the inside of him. I don't know who's got the water, we can't hear the radio, but round they go. They both pick their lines. We go quiet now because we study this, it's such an art. And that's brilliant. It's all they've taken the shorter line and now Falmouth and Carradine are dead level going out of the mark. So this is now a race about style, stamina, technique and everything. Third are Carradine B, fourth Amazon. Again still they haven't made much of a move but they're holding fourth place over Goose. Goose being rowed by Charlestown. Then Templar being rowed by Teen. Pegasus over Volante. So Padstow Oops, the boat pulls away. Padstow keeping Spy at bay. A dart, so we're going to go down to the first two boats and watch this phenomenal race that will take place going in to the... Excuse me, I'm stood on my cable. Going into the last few hundred yards. It's nip and tuck. Nobody, I can't call this, nobody could call this. It's so, so close. They are level pegging all the way. Nobody's making a move. They're keeping the same rate up. Carradine, long strokes. Long strokes, a little bit longer than Falmouth. Falmouth now seem to be just pulling in front. They seem to have shortened up, but sp sped up their rate. And they are now forging ahead slowly but surely it's Falmouth Falmouth and Zolde over Carradine in Brilliant great bit of racing and to come back from this Carradine you really got to pile it on now and we are right beside them and they aren't making any more headway Falmouth in fact I think Carradine are coming back at them the bow of the boat is now on rower number one 
and now it's just gone past him. Carradine are actually catching Falmouth. Falmouth realise that. They're Coxon looking across. He's lining up the positions of him and his opposite Cox, realising that they are actually catching them. We're now going down towards the finish line. It's not that far to go. Carradine coming back again. There's only a couple of feet in it, and here they come. They really are putting the hammer down. Falmouth realising it. They've actually started to pull away a little bit from Carradine. Well done, Falmouth. Well done, Carradine. Crazy bit of roam by these guys. And Carradine are coming back again. They really are coming back. This is amazing. Carradine probably only two feet behind them now. Every stroke they take, they're catching Falmouth. Every stroke. They're nearly neck and neck. They really are. This is going to be... I think Carradine are going to do this. They really have come back on them. This is amazing bit of rowing by Carradine. Call that one. You can't call that one if that's, well, my money would be on Carradine because they came back with such a spurt, but what a great race. Tremendous. These guys never fail to put on a good show, do they? Unbelievable. They've hardly got enough breath to give each other three cheers. Well done, the two crews. And don't forget the others. Carradine B coming in third, defending champions. But that was a, well... It was worth waiting all day long just to see that. That was an amazing race. Carradine were up, then they were back, then they were up, and then they were back. And I just think that they might have pinched it in the end. Nobody deserved to lose that race. Nobody. It was amazing from the last mark. There are still boats coming in. Sorry, we got so excited. We got Amazon coming in in fourth. We then have Goose, Templar, Teen coming in. Then Pegasus, then Volante, and then Spy. What a day's rowing. We've had it all here today. Absolutely everything. The only thing we haven't had is snow. Well done, everyone. Thank you, Cruz, for giving us something to chat about in the boat. That we talked about in the bars afterwards. Crazy, crazy bit of rowing. Well, best race of the day. Yeah, best race of the day. And no disrespect to any other races. They were all good. But that was just something special. Really special. Gives us something to aim at, Cruz. I'm going to beat these two guys. And then nobody still knows who's won. Falmouth. Wander around a bit like down at the Sillies this year. Nobody knew that Lou had won. We had the pleasure actually on the stream team of telling them that they'd won down on the Sillies this year. So Farmouth just rowing out of the way. Get away from it all. Carradine have gone to shore. See the red blades in the distance. Everybody's asking everybody, who won it? Who won it? Who won it? And we don't know. And I don't know. I don't know even if they had a photo finish. Did we, were we on the finishing line with our camera at the time? We can have a look ourselves, but we won't announce it as a win. Here comes the wind again. Thanks for staying away. Oh, we got a rainbow, first one today. No, you can't, can't, you can't see. We've just enlarged the finish line photo. It, it might, in my opinion, it's, it looks like a dead heat. <laughs> okay, guys, that excitement has made me really tired. So I've got to go and put my slippers on, get my cocoa out, have a little sip of that, and then drive 100 miles home. Thanks for entertaining us down here today. We hope we've entertained you. Thanks for putting up with all the struggles of internet, etc. And we've done our best for you. Thanks very much and uh, see you at the next event. Cheers.